Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our leg muscles and straight away we are going to start with our greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side. As usual, I am going to speed up the video. We already know how to do it. Make sure you feel the stretch in your inner thighs, your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, your calves. Trust me, all of them. Just get your mobility unlocked for all the range of movements which we are going to do today. So dedicate this minute for unlocking your body. You can do this particular stretch any time of the day if you would want to. You can do it multiple times a day. It's absolutely fine. It's a great bit of uh, stretch even for your upper back and your chest too. Today I'm also going to do a couple of more mobility drills just to ensure I get optimal performance out of my legs. So before that we are going to do a regular deep squat. Today I'm using the kettlebell. You can also use a weight plate or a dumbbell to add the weight. We first push our glutes as far behind as possible. Feel the stretch in our hamstrings. When there are no more, uh, when there's no more space available, is when we bend our knees and go into a deep squat. Once in deep squat, make sure you shift your body weight onto one ankle at a time. Pause there for a couple of seconds. Do it for three to five times. What does this do? This improves your ankle mobility. If there is any kind of restriction, it could be unlocked. If you still feel a bit of tightness, do massage your calf muscles with your own hands. It's absolutely easy. Massage them for 20 seconds and try it again. You might feel a little bit of more depth, a little bit more mobility and the ability to uh, you know put the or push the weight your body weight onto one leg like I am doing in this video Once you're done doing it for three to five times just do a small couple of pulse squats Just raise halfway through and then go down And that's it. That's it for our deep squat mobility check for the next thing. I am going to do my hip 90 degrees mobility drill so place your legs at a 90 degrees and then just turn about i think the video is very self explanatory i can't really explain it in words how to do this but as you can see in the video you just need to twist from one side to the other side what is this doing this is actually opening your hips causing internal and external rotation for your hip joint for both the legs so while one leg is doing internal rotation the other leg is doing external rotation so if there is any kind of restriction or pain that would come out at this point because you are trying to take your hip joint throughout the range of motion which it is capable of. So quite important because in all kinds of squatting, lunging movements this hip joint plays a vital role and also often times is the one which gets tight and causes multiple issues like lower back pain, knee pain etc. So if your hips are mobile you can do a lot better. The next drill is also again a hip mobility drill. Here it's pretty simple. You just need to throw your leg or kick your leg forward and backward. Again, taking your hip throughout the range of motion it is capable of. Now, as you can see, I'm using a PVC pipe for the support. You can preferably use a steadier support. The reason why I was using this is so that I can show you properly how it is done. You can control the leg as much as possible, making sure you feel the stretch and the squeeze happening as you move forward and backward in both your quad muscles, your hamstrings and your glutes. And let the hip move out of the socket, let it flow through. Once done with your front and back kicks, move on to your side kicks. So for side kicks, of course, I was not. I was very sure that I'm not going to able to do it properly with the using the pipe. So as you can see, just take a support of a wall and move your leg across your body. What does this do? Again, your hip joint gets mobilized. You take it toward the range of motion. And if you have any restrictions, like I did in my left leg, you would feel it. So then you can also try to arrest it by using foam roller, massaging and targeted stretches. 
again a great mobility drill before we move into any kind of strengthening exercises so let's begin for the warm up the warm up would be two almost weightless or low weight sets of our first exercise that is the rdls here as you can see make sure you grip the bar tight push it as far behind as possible while you're doing it what happens the bar starts pushing into your legs and that's how you make it tight upper back making sure that the weight doesn't shift onto your lower back and as you can see while i'm executing every rep how i push my glutes as far behind as possible to you know let the bar go down i don't lean forward i push my glutes as far behind as possible i have done two sets of it about 10 to 15 repetitions and while you're coming up make sure you use your glutes again to squeeze together to push yourself into a straight uh, or a vertical posture it is quite important to do that because you don't want to again lift yourself up using your lower back so use your glutes squeeze them together to push yourself forward so i remember i remember mentioning this particular cue imagine as you want to come back up you want to exert force forward not upwards so you want don't want to pull the weight up you in fact want to push your glutes forward and that is how you create an excellent rdl motion now we start on with our sets our working sets where we start loading the bar load the bar with a challenging weight where you can get 8 to 10 repetitions even 12 repetitions is fine but try to go a little bit heavier create that demand of stretch and here you can clearly see me thankfully wearing that uh, long loose t-shirt how i am pushing my glute far behind as possible and you can see how my glute pushes into the t-shirt as my as the bar goes down and as the bar comes back up i squeeze my glutes together and push myself forward with my glutes so the bar automatically comes up because now my body is trying to get straight using my hip joint otherwise your lower back can get loaded if you try to just pull the bar up use your glutes as much as possible they are a very complex and strong muscle make complete use of them for my third and fourth set i tried to slow down as much as possible by fourth set i was already exhausted to a level where i was not able to get even six repetitions so i take it as a success that my glutes and hamstrings worked really hard in this particular exercise again keep your focus absolutely on pushing your glutes far behind and as you try to come up push your glutes forward by squeezing them together take the motion as slow as possible as you're going down feel the stretch the stretch might also travel down your calf muscles and that's absolutely fine that's how the posterior chain of our leg muscles work so that's absolutely perfect once done you can safely rack using a rack setup is quite helpful in this kind of exercise so for my next exercise i'm going to work on my adductors actually i have done four sets of it about 15 repetitions but unfortunately i forgot to switch on the camera for my first set so we are beginning off with my second set again here the cue is to make sure feel or slow down as the stretch happens uh, here i have an equipment if you don't have a part this particular equipment where you can train your adductors and abductors for your legs especially uh, you can do this with resistance bands or resistant tubes by putting them around the, uh, your legs or hooking them onto a support and then pulling your legs away from your body i have done that in my previous videos in the initial uh, period of my training in the first 20 30 days leg videos so you can do that but otherwise if you have this particular equipment you can do this way the important part is to slow down the stretch position as much as possible as the equipment starts to push you your legs apart try to control it don't let it just flow through and when you want to come forward again focus 
on creating that internal contractions to get an optimal amount of inner thigh work done. Your adductors will work really hard. You don't have to necessarily load extreme amount of high weight in this particular exercise. You can take a comfortable challenging weight wherein you can achieve 15 to 20 repetitions and you can close near 15 repetition mark. That usually did the job for me. So you can also preferably do that. If you find yourself uncomfortable by doing this exercise, try to target or try to locate the exact area of discomfort that would help you uh, massage the area around it, kind of relief, uh, release the tension a little bit or the tightness and you can try that again. You can also switch to lesser resistance but I would strongly recommend doing this particular exercise to improve the strength of your adductor muscles. Adductor muscles are those muscles which bring your limbs towards the midline of your body or take them across the midline of your body. They are called the adductor muscles. So after completing four sets, my legs were absolutely fried by now thanks to the heavy good RDL but I chose to keep going as we always do and we go ahead with our leg extensions. Here I have taken a quite a bit of challenging weight, almost half my body weight and I started doing alternative leg extensions, something to challenge myself so that if there is no one leg contributing more or that equation is absolutely out of question. So as you can see, I started kicking one leg at a time, alternative, doesn't take much time, gets over pretty quickly. I've done four sets of it. Now after every after completing 8 to 10 repetitions when I start feeling tired what I do is instead of finishing my set I start using both my legs to get that extra 4 to 5 repetitions in basically like a drop set and get that extreme amount of pump going in my quad muscles. Make sure you load a challenging weight which makes it tough to get 8 to 10 repetitions with one leg and when you're about failing you can use both your legs to get that extra bit of repetitions out of yourself creating a maximum amount of blood flow into your quad muscles as you can see by third and fourth set my quads were completely full of blood and i was feeling extreme amount of tightness in my quads so great job done for today and i hope that would be the result for you too so let's move on to our next small bit of exercise here I'm going to do toe races unfortunately I did not frame this well so you're not able to see what I'm doing but we already have done this before just lean onto a wall or a support your heels on the ground and start raising your toes towards your shins working on your muscles which are on your shin ensuring that we give an all-round approach for our knee strengthening these muscles particularly help in making sure our knees remain stable so you can do as many repetitions as possible you can also do multiple sets and that's it for our exercise bit we are now going to jump into our static stretches thank you so much for watching the video if you did like the video please do drop a like have any feedback drop a comment otherwise i am doing our regular quad stretches here i am just using a step up box to hold my leg because I was absolutely tired and I wanted to exaggerate the stretch by just leaning onto my leg and creating a straight body line. So you can see I rest my leg on the stepper box and just lean back to create that stretch getting into a straight line. I also would like to request you that if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, a sub to the channel would be absolutely amazing for that because it's a lot of positive feedback in the first place. It helps me a lot and now I'm doing my hamstring stretches again simple place your leg on a height and push your glutes behind as you start pushing your glutes behind and if you want you can lean forward as I, as you can see pull your toes towards your shins to create that extra bit of stretch in your calf and your hamstrings hold it for 20 seconds do two sets of it so two sets of quad stretches two sets of hamstring stretches and you would technically be 
getting the neutral neutral length of your muscles back after all those contract uh, contractions which we put them through post stretches i decided to do some leg raises i have done two sets of it first set a little bit momentum second set more controlled make sure you lift your glutes as high as possible if you're unable to do it hanging you can do it lie, lying down also pretty easy core exercise i thank you again for watching today's video and i hope to see you in the next video it's an absolute pressure making these videos and trying to help as many people as possible thank you have a good day